John Drew Barrymore was an American film actor and member of the Barrymore family of actors, which included his father, John Barrymore, and his father's siblings, Lionel and Ethel. He was the father of four children, including actor John Blythe Barrymore and actress Drew Barrymore. Diana Barrymore was his half-sister from his father's second marriage. John Blythe Barrymore Jr. was born in Los Angeles, California to John Barrymore and Dolores Costello. His parents separated when he was 18 months old, and he rarely saw his father afterward. Educated at private schools, he made his film debut at 17, billed as John Barrymore Jr. In July, 1948, he made headlines when he ran away from his mother. Barry Moore's film career began with a small role in The Sundowners, a western with Robert Preston. As he was a minor he needed his mother's permission. His fee was $7.500. He was promoted to leading man in just his second movie, High Lonesome, another western. That was written and directed by Alan LeMay who also wrote Barrymore's next film, Quebec. He starred in The Big Night, written and directed by Joseph Losey and was in Thunderbirds with John Derrick at Republic. In 1953 he was briefly jailed for failing to appear on three old traffic charges. Barry Moore's films had not been particularly successful at the box office. He moved into television, guest starring on shows like Schlitz Playhouse and the 20th Century Fox Hour. He did some TV movies The Reluctant Redeemer and The Adventures of Alti. Conti and appeared in several episodes of Matinee Theatre. In 1957, he directed an episode of Matinee Theatre, One for All. Television gives me the chance to do what movies didn't, he said. In 1955, Barrymore was sued by Lenny Bud Productions for not making a series of movies in Europe. Barrymore countersued. Barrymore returned to features with supporting parts in While the City Sleeps, for director Fritz Lang, and The Shadow on the Window. In 1957, he appeared in a production of Romeo and Juliet at the Pasadena Playhouse with Margaret O'Brien. He guest starred in Playhouse 90, Climax, Westinghouse Desilu Playhouse and Wagon Train. In 1958, he changed his middle name to Drew, although he had previously been credited in past works as Blythe. He had a supporting part in High School Confidential, at MGM, and the lead in Never Love a Stranger and MGM's interracial drama, Night of the Quarter Moon with Julie London. In December 1958, Barrymore was sentenced to three weekends in prison after a drunken public fight with his wife in a car park. In January, 1959, his ex-wife sued for non-payment of alimony. In March, 1959, he was arrested for suspected hit and run drunk driving. In October, 1959, he quit the touring company of Loop Homewood, Angel after a week and a half of rehearsals. Barrymore journeyed to Italy to star in The Cossacks with Edmund Purdom. The actor stayed in Europe for the next few years. He and Purdom were reunited on the night they killed Rasputin, with Barrymore playing Felix Yusupov. Barrymore starred in I'll See You in Hell with Eva Bartok, The Pharaoh's Woman, The Centurion, The Trojan Horse with Steve Reeves, Pontius Pilate with Jean Marais, Gina Crane and Basil Rathbone, Invasion 1700 with Crane, and Arms of the Avenger. Barrymore went to England to appear in the Christine Keeler story as Stephen Ward. In Italy he was in Matica, Rome against Rome, Death on the Four Poster, and A Game of Crime. Barrymore returned to Los Angeles. He announced he made 16 films abroad but I'm not going to do anything bad anymore. I feel I'm straightened out and down the block. Somewhere around the block I lost half my ego, so I don't work for applause. He also said he had started to write scripts. He guest starred on shows such as Gunsmoke, Ride, Run For Your Life, The Road West, Jericho, and Dundee and the Colhane. He was also in TV movies like Winchester 73 and The Savage Land. 
Barrymore's social behavior obstructed any professional progress. In the 1960s, he was occasionally incarcerated for drug use, public drunkenness, and spousal abuse. In 1964 he went to prison for possession of marijuana. In 1966, Barrymore was signed to play a guest role as Lazarus in the Star Trek episode The Alternative Factor. However, he failed to show up, resulting in a SAG suspension of six months. After the SAG suspension was served to Barrymore in 1967, he sporadically worked on screen, sometimes with a few years between appearances. In 1967, he was imprisoned for possession of drugs following a car crash. In 1969, he was again arrested for possession of drugs after another car accident. His final appearances included The Clones, an episode of Kung Fu and Baby Blue Marine. His TV and film career ended permanently by 1976, although even before this point he became more and more reclusive. Barrymore suffered from the same addiction problems that had destroyed his father, and he became a derelict. He was estranged from his family, including his children, and his lifestyle continued to worsen as his physical and mental health deteriorated. In 2003, his daughter Drew moved him near her home, despite their estrangement. She paid his medical bills until his death from cancer the following year at age 72. He has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for his contributions to television. All of Barrymore's marriages ended in divorce. His first marriage was to actress Carl Williams in 1952. They had one child, John Blythe Barrymore, before their divorce in 1959. The year later, in 1960, Barrymore married Gabriella Palazzoli. Their daughter, Blythe Dolores Barrymore, was born that same year. Their marriage lasted 10 years before ending in divorce in 1970. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.